Hello everybody and welcome to Tech in 5 Minutes. Today we're talking about React Native versus Flutter. Is Flutter going to replace React Native? Let's find out. On our channel, we share thoughts on recent developments in the tech industry. Subscribe not to miss new videos. Let's start. Flutter is an open source mobile software development kit created by Google. The framework is used to build cross-platform apps for the web, mobile, and desktop using a single code base. Anyway, would you like to find out more about Flutter? We have an in-depth article on Flutter development. The link is in the description. Let's move on to React Native. React Native is an open source mobile application framework created by Facebook. It is used to develop natively rendering, cross-platform mobile, and web applications. When we're done defining both of them, let's see the key differences between these two frameworks. In our opinion, the main distinction between the two is the programming language. Flutter's code base is written in the Dart language, a new object-oriented language created by Google. In contrast, React Native uses JavaScript. And another important difference lies in the technical architecture. React Native's architecture relies on the JavaScript bridge used to communicate with the native modules. Flutter, however, has most of the components inbuilt and does not always need the bridge to interact with native modules. We asked our developers at Jelvix to compare Flutter and React Native, and here's what we found out. The first aspect is performance. Well, Flutter is the definite winner in this case. It is compiled into the native ARM code, which increases the speed of development and running time. The next one would be design and graphics. Here, the frameworks use completely different approaches. React Native renders native components, like buttons, menus, navigation bars, for each platform. These components look slightly different on iOS and Android, yet they are updated together with the UI of the OS. Flutter apps have the same code base. That's why they look the same, despite the OS or device. The third differentiating aspect is time to market. Here, Flutter wins the race. Flutter developers write one code base that covers multiple platforms. React Native engineers usually build different apps with native elements for different platforms. The fourth point is reliability and further support. Well, both frameworks were created by the leading technology companies that use them to design their own apps. Therefore, both of them are well-maintained and backed by huge communities. So, speaking of compatibility, Flutter supports Android 4.1 and above, or iOS 8 and above, while React Native works with Android 4.1 and above and iOS 10 and above. As for app features, unlike React Native, Flutter has many plugins developed by the Google team. For example, geolocation and mapping. While Flutter is perfect for apps with continuous tracking, React Native, unfortunately, works well mostly with a one-time location. And finally, continuous integration and delivery. Flutter allows deploying apps using the command line interface. React Native doesn't have an integrated tool for this. It supports third-party CI-CID services like Fastlane, GitLab CI-CID, GitHub Actions, and Microsoft App Center. So which framework is more popular? Based on Statista's 2021 developer survey, Flutter is preferred by 42% of developers, which makes it the most popular cross-platform framework. React Natives gained only 38% of the community ops. And what about adoption? Here, Flutter beats React Native as well, having 131,000 stars in October 2021 on GitHub while React Native received only 98,800 stars in October 2021. As for the top apps built with Flutter, you may have heard about Google Ads, Hamilton, Alibaba, eBay, Perfectly, Topline, and many others. The list of famous React Native apps includes Instagram, Skype, Walmart, Shopify, Tesla, Salesforce, etc. Given everything we've discussed, what do you think right now? Will Flutter replace React Native? Share your thoughts in the comments. Time to share our opinion on the React Native versus Flutter debate. At Jelvix, we believe it's better to use React Native if your project is expected to be large and deeply rooted, if you plan to reuse code for a web app and a desktop app, 
if your app requires multiple interactions with an OS, and if the project requires rare, little-known native libraries. Yet Flutter is distinctly better if you need to create an MVP in a short period, if your app is UI-centered, if the app requires custom communication via Bluetooth, and if your app requires unified design across all platforms. So who's the winner? Currently, this battle has no winners or losers. By the way, if you were about to build your own app right now, which one would you choose? This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. Jelvix helps top brands worldwide to innovate and accelerate digital transformation. We provide world-class enterprise software engineering, design, and technology consulting services. Find our contact details in the description box. Thank you for watching this video. We share our experience of software development and tech tips here. So make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video and don't forget to press the bell button. Bye for now.